What's good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Big Fight Fuel channel where we speak the truth, we're honest, and we give our takes on the NFL. It is Thursday, November, I believe it's the 9th. I don't know anymore. November 9th, uh, 2023. This is your NFL Week 10 preview and predictions. Um, it's been since Sunday. Since I made a video, um, the last video I did was about the Dolphins against the Kansas City Chiefs. That game really, really pissed me off as a fan. So I had to take a couple days um, away, not make any videos. And on Twitter, too, I really haven't tweeted anything Miami Dolphins related since Monday. And it just feels so good that my team is on a bye this week. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. We're going to talk about... The first half of the season for the Miami Dolphins. What I expect in the second half of the season. Now that things are going into a new week, I've cooled down a little bit with uh, with the heat of the moment type of stuff. I've cooled down, and I'm gonna really tell the truth and digest everything from the first half of the season for the Dolphins and my predictions for the second half of the season starting next week against the Las Vegas Raiders. But without further ado, we're going to talk about week 10 of the NFL season. And we have the Dolphins that I just mentioned, the Philadelphia Eagles, the Kansas City Chiefs, and the Los Angeles Rams on a bye. So for fantasy, that hurts because in a couple, in one league, I have Tyreek Hill, Jalen Waddle, Raheem Mostert, all on the same team, so I have to find replacements for them. Dallas Goddard is on a buy. The Eagles defense are on a buy. Uh, Rasheed Rice is on a buy. So I have to um, find some new replacements for my fantasy teams. And uh, I don't have my notebook, like what I write my records on today. But I know last week we went eight for six. I don't remember my overall record of the season. Um, I believe it's, I don't remember off the top of my head, so I'll get that to you guys next week. And by the way, I will talk about it at the end of the video, but next week is going to be a super busy week here on the Big Fight Field channel, but exciting as well, but it's going to be super busy. Let's get into these games, starting off with possibly the worst game of the entire year tonight. Thursday night football, you have the Carolina Panthers, the one and seven Carolina Panthers against the two and seven Chicago Bears. These are the two worst teams besides the Arizona Cardinals in the in the NFC. This is garbage that this game is on at prime time. The prime time games are bad this week. They're bad. And um, I will not be watching this game tonight. I have no interest in either team or watching Bryce Young against Tyson Bajan. I guess I will take the, the Bears because Bryce Young's really been on a struggle this entire season. They can't seem to get it together. And even with um, Chicago not having Justin Fields, I think from, from how bad Carolina's offense has been uh, Tyson Bage and will do just enough to get a win over the um, Carolina Panthers on Thursday Night Football. So I'm going to take the Chicago Bears. Then we get to Frankfurt, Germany. Another game in Frankfurt, Germany this week. Uh, this week it is the Indianapolis Colts against the 2-7 New England Patriots, and the Patriots season is just about over. Um, the Colts, they're on a, they're at four and five right now. Um, the Patriots season is over. Uh, they probably will get a top five pick in the draft, I'd imagine. But will probably tank for the rest of the season. I don't think Mac Jones is they're going to be the long term quarterback answer. Where he goes, I don't know. But I am going to take. The spread's only one and a half. It's very close. I am going to take the Colts. The Colts are going to win. 
in a low-scoring game. And the Patriots are just going to continue to lose because I don't see them um, putting up a fight for a wild-card spot in the postseason. Already a 2-7 and seven record. This is definitely the worst New England Patriots team in my lifetime. And how's it feel? You know, why I've gone through the same shit as a Dolphins fan all throughout my life. This is a new feeling for New England Patriots fans. So, uh, let's get to one o'clock games. The first game, the Cleveland Browns against the Baltimore Ravens. Both teams definitely in the playoff race. Browns are a wild card team right now. The Ravens, I believe, are the best overall team in the AFC. They have a good defense. They have a great offense. Lamar Jackson is probably the MVP right now besides Patrick Mahomes. That he's he's top he's right beneath Patrick Mahomes right now as the MVP of the league. Um, they are blowing teams out, man, at home. They're absolutely blowing teams out. Um, the Lions, the Seahawks, uh, they blew out the Texans earlier this year. Their only loss at home has been to the Indianapolis Colts. And um, this game against the Browns, the Browns have one of the top defenses in the AFC, but the Browns play better defense at home than they do um, on the road. Deshaun Watson is still shaky uh, with the quarterback. Lamar Jackson is on his absolute A game. Uh, give me the Ravens at home to go to 8-2 on the season, and, and with the Chiefs on the bye, the Ravens will be sole possession of the number one seed in the AFC after this weekend when they defeat the Cleveland Browns, in my opinion. Um, the Houston Texans and the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, shout out to C.J. Stroud because he absolutely balled out last week for my fantasy team. 41 points, man. 470 passing yards. Five touchdowns. It was absolutely sensational. But, and I am starting him again this week because I, I trust him more than Brock Purdy at this current moment. But he is playing a better defense this week. The Buccaneers have a terrible defense. Um, their, their defense is not good. The Texans are facing a much better defense in Cincinnati. Joe Burrow is playing unbelievable right now. And it's just going to be a close game because reading the reports, both T. Higgins and Jamar Chase did not practice today. Um, so that is going to be a bad thing for the Cincinnati Bengals. And it might result in a loss this week, but I'm going to say they skim one out against the Texans in a very good game. One of the better games of the week, to be honest with you, um, I think. But I'm going to take the Bengals. This is a very good game. San Francisco against Jacksonville Jaguars on a five-game winning streak. Both teams are coming off a bye. Now, let me ask you this. The 49ers on a three-game losing streak. They started the season 5-0. and They are now 5-3. and Brock Purdy has not been playing great. Trevor Lawrence and the Jaguars are on a five-game winning streak. They currently have the highest winning streak in the NFL right now. Somehow, the 49ers are favored by three points this week. I don't know how. The Jaguars have won five in a row, and they're playing unbelievable. And the 49ers are on a struggle after, um, after losing three in a row. So what do you do in this situation? I like the 49ers. I just don't think... There's a world where they lose four games in a row. They are going to... Um, I, I don't see a world where the 49ers lose um, four games in a row. Jacksonville's going to lose this week. The 49ers defensive line is going to get after Trevor Lawrence, and the 49ers are going to win this game this weekend. I promise you. Saints against the red-hot Minnesota Vikings who've won four in a row. Josh Dobbs is such an incredible 
for you right now, man. It is unbelievable. It's it's. I'm happy for the guy. And the Vikings have won um, four in a row, and they're getting three points at home. I love the Minnesota Vikings and Josh Dobbs this weekend. Give me the Vikings. I'm on the Josh Dobbs type train. That guy's awesome. Uh, Packers, Steelers, two very bad offenses, but it's in Pittsburgh. I'm going to take the Steelers. The TJ Watt right now is single-handedly carrying this Steelers team. He's unbelievable, and he could single-handedly, again, carry the Steelers to a playoff berth. That's how good he's been. Um, he's he, they got a shitty offense, and TJ Watt is sensational. He's unbelievable. Um, Titans, Bucks. See, this is a toss-up. This is a toss-up. And by the way, Will Levis is officially the starting quarterback. Ryan Tannehill is the backup for the Tennessee Titans as of right now. Uh, Will Levis has won the starting spot. The Buccaneers' defense is bad. Will Levis has a great arm. He's shown that he can throw the deep ball. I think DeAndre Hopkins is really going to have a good game in this one. And I think Levis is going to ball out just like he did against the Atlanta Falcons. So I could see this one being a high-scoring game. But at the end of the day, I'm going to take the Tennessee Titans to go to Tampa and get this win. And that will pretty much signal out the Buccaneers um, in the in the wild card. The, and the only way they would win it is if they would win the division. And three and six, that's going to put them in a tight hole, I think. So I like the Titans this weekend against the Bucks. Then we go to the four o'clock games Falcons, Cardinals. Kyler Murray officially making his first start of the NFL season towards ACL last year. Cardinals are tanking. Uh, but the, Val- the Falcons are really struggling right now. Arthur Smith is not giving B. John Robinson the ball. I, I don't know why. And they have quarterback problems with Desmond Ritter and Taylor Heineke. I, this is my upset of the week, man. I'm calling it right here, right now. This is going to be my upset of the week. I'm taking the Cardinals because there's currently no film on Kylo Murray with this new Cardinals offense. And I don't, I think Kyler is going to make enough plays more than Taylor Heineke is to get the win. So I'm going Cardinals here in Arizona. Then Lions, Chargers. This should be a fun, fun game. Um, the Chargers coming off a dominant win over the New York Jets on Monday Night Football 27 to 6. But they're coming off a short week. And the Detroit Lions are coming off a bye. I like the Lions. It's going to be a high-scoring game. And I think the Lions are going to have a very good game. They're going to take advantage of that secondary for the Chargers. And I think Jared Goff is going to have a really good game. I think St. Brown is going to have himself a nice game. And I think the Lions are going to win this one on the road. Their team I really like in the NFC. So, and then Giants Cowboys, America's game of the week. I, I, it's not America's game of the week, but it's signalized as America's game of the week. Um, Tommy DeVito, rookie quarterback from Illinois, is the starter for the Giants. Um, this spread is ridiculous. Seven team. The spread is three. Possessions. That's crazy, man. Um, it was ugly when these two teams first played each other in the beginning of the season. Um, Dallas won 40 to 0. This has potential to be uglier. I like the Dallas. Washington against Seattle. Going to be an underrated game. Sam Howell's been playing really good football lately. And Geno Smith and the Seahawks, they've been inconsistent. But this week, I think they pull one out late in the game, uh, get a game-winning stop or win by, like, seven or three. Um, you know, Sam Howell's playing good football right now. And uh, 
I, I do think he could have another good game. But I like Geno Smith and the Seahawks just to edge out the uh, Washington Commanders. I'm going to take the Seahawks at home. And then Sunday night football. Oh, boy. Zach Wilson versus Aiden O'Connell. The ratings for Sunday night football are going to be unbelievably skyrocketed high this week, man. Everybody around the world is going to be watching Zach Wilson against Aiden O'Connell. Said no one ever. Um, I don't know who to pick for this game. It's listed as a pick em on CBS Sports. I just, I, I literally do not know who to pick in this game. You look at the Raiders and you have a young rookie quarterback going up against the Jets defense, who, in my opinion, is the best in the NFL besides the Philadelphia Eagles. The Jets are the best defense in the AFC and possibly, possibly the NFL. Um, but on the other hand, Zach Wilson is coming off a poor, poor performance on Monday night. And now they have to travel across country to Las Vegas on Sunday night. And with the way that Jets offensive line is playing, I think Max Crosby is going to eat up. But I'm leaning towards the Jets defense getting it done on the road. It's going to be an ugly game. I think it'll be something like 13 to 6. 10 to 9, 14 to 10. It's going to be an ugly football game, folks. Brace yourselves for this gem of a game on Sunday night. Um, I'm taking the Jets on the road. And then Monday night, the, the Denver Broncos against the Buffalo Bills. And I know I shit and I laugh on the Bills all the time. And I enjoy doing it. It's my pleasure. But. This is absolutely a bounce-back game for the Bills. This is a must-win game for the Bills. And I think Josh Allen is going to have himself a really good game here against the the Broncos. And I think the Broncos could play close. I think the Bills will run away with it at the end. But, man, would it be awesome to see the Denver Broncos beat the Bills on Monday Night Football. But it's not happening. And the Bills, they are my lock of the week. I'm taking the Bills over the Broncos. If they don't win this game, they're in trouble. Because, folks, I will talk about it tomorrow, too. Their schedule, let me tell you, their schedule is absolutely brutal. Okay, so they have a game against the Broncos on Monday night this week. Then next week, they play the Jets at home. They've already lost to the Jets. Then the following week, they go to Philly. Then they have a bye. Then they go to Kansas City. And then they play the Cowboys. And then they go to the Chargers. Then they end the season at home against the Patriots in Miami against the Dolphins. So essentially, looking at this schedule, the only, the only, I guess, um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm only, I don't know how to word this, non-hard game that they have is the Broncos and the Patriots. The other games, they're going to be tough, and especially the Jets. Don't count the Jets out, man. I'm telling you. You can make fun of Zach Wilson all you want. But um, that defense is not to be messed with. So those are my picks. Those are my picks for the week, man. Um, I will be back tomorrow with a midseason review. We will talk about the first nine games of the season for the Miami Dolphins. I'll break it all down. I'm much more relaxed now, so it's going to be a fair, honest uh, video. And I will give you my fair and honest 
second half predictions starting next week with the Raiders. I'm not going to go in depth with them, but I want to tell you what I think is going to happen in the second half of the season. Are the Dolphins going to win the AFC East for the first time since 2008? Are the Miami Dolphins going to win a playoff game this year for the first time in 23 years? Is Tyreek Hill going to get over 2,000 yards? He needs to average 116 yards per game to get there. We will talk about that tomorrow on the Big Fight Fuel channel. But thank you guys so much. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the Big Fight Fuel channel. Um, We have a lot of fun stuff coming up, man. The second half of the season for the Dolphins is going to be fun content. I am going to Miami. Week 14 against the Tennessee Titans. It's a Monday night football game. And yes, bet your bottom dollar. I will be vlogging in Miami at the game on December 11th. I cannot wait, man. I cannot wait to do another Dolphins vlog for you guys this year. Last year, I was at the Steelers game. And a lot of you guys left comments saying, man, this vlog is absolutely sick. Ready to go. Stuff like that. You guys are getting another one this year. It's against the Tennessee Titans week 14. Um, comment down below. Leave your picks down below. I want to know who you guys are think are, are going to win this weekend. And let me know what you think about your favorite team. Um, hit the like button if you like what you heard from me. And follow me on Twitter. At Colin underscore Joseph. There's no Miami Dolphins game to tweet about this week. So I'm just going to float around. Um, been tweeting a lot about the 76ers, man, which, by the way, 6 and 1. 6 and 1, first in the Eastern Conference. Um, I'll make a video, not next week, but the following week, talking about the Sixers. Um, and that's all I got. That's all I got, man. So, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. We'll talk about the first half of the season for the Miami Dolphins and so much more. I can't wait. Uh, you guys have a good one. Stay safe, and as always, stay classy. And I'm out. Peace.